Brad Caldwell, the man known to thousands of Penn State fans, players, and coaches as Spider, grew up just an hour outside of State College, a sports fan who couldn't play sports. I'm a five foot two guy with a crooked back. But just before going into ninth grade, Spider got a chance to be a part of a team. My eighth grade science teacher, he was the junior high football coach, and he said, hey, would you be interested in being my student manager? I think, yeah, you'd be a great kid. And I, I was real shy back then, and I used to wear a brace as well. In high school, I had a neck brace I wore and a body cast and stuff for my scoliosis. At first, I said, no, I don't know if I really want to do that. My best friend who was on the team talked me into doing it. He was the manager for three sports, football, baseball, and wrestling. Being a manager in high school really brought me out of my shell. Again, I, I feel it helped you know, mold my personality, and I and, uh, don't regret any of it. After high school, he went to Penn State Du Bois as an aerospace engineering major with hopes of working for NASA. But that dream changed when Penn State reached out to him about coming on board as a football manager. I, I want to take this opportunity, so I switched majors to get to main campus and to become a football manager. Little did he know that recommendations from his high school football and baseball coaches would lead to a 31-year journey with the Nittany Lions. It wasn't an easy job. Cleaning up after games, doing mounds of players' laundry, fixing broken equipment, restocking, and repacking for road trips. It's a long hours. It's a lot of work. You're constantly on your feet moving. Then you're always repairing stuff from that either practice or game. You know, at practice, I would make a list. OK, I need to do this to, to uh, you know, Zwinex helmet. I change a face mask, it's all been up. Spider and his team had to be ready just like the football team. We actually would practice at practice, trying to be as quick to fix something as we could. So, because you never know, that one play could be the difference. After 31 years on the field, last May, he retired and moved to Vermont with his wife. They had always dreamed of moving there. And I already had over 25 years at Penn State, which is kind of a milestone you try to get to. He became the athletic director at a local high school, but that's when he started missing Happy Valley. I, I don't think you realize what you have till you lose it for good. I'm like, what have I done? I, I miss my Penn State family and, and you know everything I've ever known since I was 18 years old. So he returned to Penn State over the winter and now works as the facilities coordinator at Beaver Stadium. I just kind of reevaluated everything. I said, you know, maybe I'm going through a midlife crisis. I don't know, but I thought, hey, what have I done? I mean, this is where I belong. I, I, my heart's here. I mean, Spider says he's forever thankful to those who helped launch his career. For Spider, this is simply home. I get the keys to Beaver Stadium. <laughs> I have died with the heaven, you know. I, I just, I know, I look out of my office and go, oh my word, I can't believe it. I'm Taylor Shelley for the Center County Report.